Hello everyone. Welcome back to Home Sense with Nell. First off, I want to say I hope everyone is doing great. I hope your spirits are high and I hope this video finds you in wonderful health. Thanks a lot for stopping by my channel today where I talk about home decor, DIYs, gardening, and other topics related to making your home your sanctuary on a budget. So today guys, I want to share with you how I made these cute little Dollar Tree cloches for just about $4 with items that I found at my local store. Now guys, you know my channel is about home decor, DIYs, and gardening. And today, being the start of fall, I just felt like in a DIY type of mood. Now I did say, I know it's the start of fall, but when you go to Dollar Tree and you find cute stuff, no matter what season it is, it's a good, good idea to just pick it up because you don't know when it's gonna be gone. So on this shopping trip, I picked up three wire baskets that were a little bit smaller than the baskets that I had been using out in the garden to protect my young plants. So these were a cute size, I'd say maybe six or seven inches tall. And I also picked up three cake pans to use as the base of my cloche. So I searched around the store to find something that I could use for a handle of the cloche. And I was actually looking for a ball or a wooden knob or something like that. And I couldn't find that. But I did find these candle holder or candle vase tops, I don't know what you call those, and those seemed like they would work pretty well because I like the shape of them and I like the fact that they were glass. So I picked up three different candles. And surprisingly these candles smell really really nice. Even when they're not being burned, uh, just when you simply have the, the lid or the cap off, you can smell the the nice scents from the candles. So my first step guys was to go ahead and spray paint the cake pans that were going to be used as the base of the cloche and I pretty much did three light uh, coats. I didn't worry about spraying the bottoms because I knew the bottoms wouldn't be showing. And I really like this brand of paint. Uh, I purchased this at Home Depot. And I noticed that now these paint cans have like kind of like a security feature on there. Um, it's like a little clamp that you have to slide off in order to be able to use the paint. So just look out for that. So here you just see me doing the first light coat on the pans. And it was a little hard to get the sides, so I just raised them up on a piece of scrap wood. Made it a little bit easier to get good coverage. So after three coats, um, those were finished, and I went ahead and brought them inside and started assembling the cloches. Well, guys, this was so much fun. I really enjoy crafting. Let me know if you like doing crafts. Um, I don't know, I find it relaxing and it's enjoyable. And then at the end of it, you get a product that you can use and show off a little bit in your house. So it's a lot of fun. So here's uh, my first cake pan, all nice and white. Again, I didn't worry about doing the bottoms. I wasn't planning on showing those. And also at Dollar Tree, I found these glass dessert plates.
And again, here are the Dollar Tree candles, which I'm only going to use the tops, and I'm going to reserve the candles just to use uh, as a nice scent or a nice romantic cozy fire one night. So guys, to, in order to assemble this, um, you have to take off the rubber ring around the tops and carefully use your scissors to remove that. I wasn't able to just pull it off with my hands, I had to cut it. So the first step was just to go ahead and turn over the wire mesh basket and apply a bead of hot glue onto the bottom of the candle holder cap. And I tried to center that as, as well as I could and it did dry pretty fast. It was just about 15 seconds and it was, it was fixed on there. And there's the second one. Now guys, if you like these kind of videos, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more great content. I love to do videos on gardening, home decor, and DIYs. And leave me a comment. I would love to speak with you. I try to re respond to all of my comments within about 24 hours. I love to interact with my subscribers and even non-subscribers. Yeah, so go ahead and leave me a comment. And that's the last one. So next guys, in order to attach the glass dessert dishes to the metal um, cake pans, I had to use some Gorilla Glue um, because the hot glue, for some reason, it doesn't work for me when I need to attach glass to something. I usually use E6000, but somebody in my house threw it away because it looked like it was dried out. So I had to go ahead and use this instead. And this is actually a good product. All you do is squeeze out both sides. I think one of them is the, oh, I forgot. But there's, there's two different uh, substances and you're gonna mix them together to create the hardener. And then it uh, creates a permanent bond on your items and it works great for glass. So I just did that into a little plastic top and I used my popsicle stick to apply it to the raised part of the um, dessert dish. And I think the Gorilla Glue is composed, now that I remember, it's a polymer, I think, and a hardener. So you have to mix those two together in order to get the permanent, or in order to activate it. Okay, and I centered that on the bottom of the cake pan and just held it firmly until it was pretty secure. And I let that dry. And here's the last one. Okay, so I had all of my parts assembled and now here comes the fun part. So what I love about these cloches is, of course, you can customize them. Um, for any season, you can decorate them however you like, but I'm, um, you know, I love the holidays and I feel that Christmas is going to be right around the corner. Like I don't want to blink and miss it. So I decided to go ahead and make this into a Christmas craft. So I took this cute uh, Dollar Tree Christmas ribbon that I found and I kind of weaved it in and out of the spaces on the wire mesh basket. And you can see here, I just skipped or I pretty much wove it into every other opening.
and I attached the loose ends with hot glue just to give it a more finished look. And I've been burned with hot glue before so I always use a tool <laughs> like you see me using the scissors there to smooth it down because that stuff burns and it, it's hard to get off of your skin so I don't I have to be very careful with that. Okay so that's how it looks when the ribbon is attached all the way around and I decided to dress up the knob a little bit with the ribbon. You don't have to but um, I think it actually looks cute either way. And Dollar Tree really has a nice variety of ribbons. If you're not into the traditional red and green like we like, Dollar Tree has the blue and silver. Um, they also have more neutral colored ribbons. I even think this would look really nice with say um, more of a farmhouse style like a burlap ribbon. That would also look really nice. So next guys, I'm just going to, you're going to see me here just decorating my cloches. Um, I used some faux snow. It's actually wrapping material that I use to wrap my nativity set up every year. But I have so much of it that I thought it would look great in the bottom of, this, of these cloches. So I laid that down to um, kind of represent snow. And then I found these cute little um, $1, I don't know what you call it. They're kind of like tea light holders, but they look like little houses. And they have window cutouts that allows a light to flicker through. Very cute and cozy looking. So I decided to use those along with some bottle brush Christmas trees from the Target Dollar Spot. These large trees I believe were about $3 a bag. And as you, I, I assumed that these trees would stand up on the snow but they, they didn't stand up on their own very well. So you'll see um, how I fix that in just a minute. And these are the Dollar Tree uh, lights that I found. They already have an included um, watch battery in there, so you don't have to buy extra batteries. And they just have a switch on the bottom. There's no timer or anything like that, so you do have to manually switch them on when you want them. But they do add a really nice effect to these houses with the cutout windows. So what I ended up doing to get the trees to stand up straight was attach a little bead of glue to them. So they're stuck together, <laughs> so they won't fall over. But that's basically the finished look, guys, before I turn the lights on. Isn't it cute? Let me know what you think. And for the second cloche, I took the same uh, soft wrapping material, but I balled it up to resemble like uh, snow drifts. And I placed this Dollar Tree ornament in the center. I really think this church is very pretty. Now, fortunately, there's not a big enough opening on the church to slide the little light in, so I had to place the light behind the church. But it looks exactly the same, as long as you don't look behind the church. <laughs> and for the third cloche, I decided to use the smaller bo bottle brush trees from uh, Target Dollar Spot. I think they were either 3 or $2 a package. And again, these trees would not stand up. So I had to attach a small bead of glue to the house to get the trees to stand up on this one. Sometimes I'm amazed at what you can buy for one or two or three dollars, you know, especially if you are a creative person. I mean, you know, I like to have fun with it. I'm not super creative, but I do enjoy crafting. But some people are really able to create masterpieces out of, you know, one dollar and two dollar items. So I think it's a lot of fun. When my kids were younger, we used to craft together a lot. And I had those little, as you can see, those little berries um, from another, it was like a Dollar Tree um, pick that I had just stored in the garage. So I cut it apart and I thought those little pops of red would look great on these trees. So 
So I just attached several of them with little beads of hot glue. I think they came out cute. Okay guys, so this is my finished look. This is my tablescape for Christmas time. I think it's just adorable. I mean, these cloches were $4 and hopefully you guys um, will go ahead and give this a try yourself. And again, you don't have to make Christmas cloches. You can make, you can make Halloween cloches, uh, fall, winter time, winter theme, whatever you like. They're really highly customizable. I just think it's a really great craft for the price. Um, it might be a great family activity that you can do at home. So guys, thanks so much again for visiting my channel, Home Sense with Nell, where I talk about home decor, DIYs, gardening, and other topics related to making your home your sanctuary on a budget. Please like, share, and subscribe. And most of all, leave me a comment down below. I would love to talk to you. Stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next video. And guys, here's my cozy nighttime look where you can really see the full effect of the lights, the little tea lights that we got from Dollar Tree. They are so beautiful, so cozy, and it just makes your whole room light up.